Hey, so a little backstory on my company. We uh we had gotten started right around 2020 when uh the pandemic hit because I had worked a job and then got laid off due to the pandemic and when I came back I ended up getting fired right away. And decided I wasn't looking to go into another job. So I went from there and started garbage picking and picked up lawnmowers to flip and sell because I went to college as an automotive technician. So we would pick up lawnmowers and flip them and uh, made some decent money, but it was very seasonal. So wanted to find something that was a little less seasonal that I could make money all year round in and ended up going for lawn care and landscaping. So the first year, I had found somebody on Facebook who was looking to subcontract out a couple people and went and spoke with him. And he wanted somebody who had more professional equipment, and I was working with the mowers that I was fixing up out of the trash. So used some of the money and went and bought a trailer and went and picked up a uh, mower and went back to him and started cutting for him but only ended up cutting for him for about a week because all of his yards were way overgrown and he wanted to pay very minimal which the amount of time it took to do it was very inefficient and wasn't making sense for us money wise so went from that and ended up marketing to try to get our own customers that first year only got one customer so since I only had one customer, I went and found some other landscapers in the area, lawn care guys, and worked for them to figure out how they ran their business so I could figure out how to better run mine before I really got started with the business. And I found one guy and worked with him for, I think it was only like two weeks because he... He constantly put off work, and it took us two weeks in order to do 50 accounts that were supposed to be done weekly. So, went from him to another guy where we were doing 250 accounts a week. Learned a little bit from him. Ended up doing snow removal with him also. And the snow removal, he had about 200 accounts. And we would go out when the snow stopped and get the snow removal all done. And there was usually anywhere from five to eight of us going out to get all these accounts done. And while working with him, I also met another guy who did commercial work and started using a snow raider to clear off his sidewalks on his commercial properties while doing residential with this other guy. So I'd go to the one guy, do all the commercial work while the snow was falling, drop the salt and everything and then drive over to the other guys and go do all the residential as soon as the snow stopped and was learning from multiple different guys at the exact same time on running the lawn care business in the winter, the snow removal. So after that winter, I went and found another different uh, lawn care guy in the area and worked with him for a little bit. During that year, I had 10 customers Worked with him for the entire summer that year. Learned how he ran his business with contracts and everything. And decided that that was the way I wanted to go. Because prior to this, I had gotten a couple landscaping jobs. And after the work was completed, the customers refused to pay. So, I didn't want that to happen again. So, I ended up going and taking on the, the contracts. And then the upcoming winter after working with him, I had gotten about 10 snow customers and went through that winter without working for another company. And then the following spring would have been the spring of 2022. And during that spring, I had about 20 customers of my own. And then I had taken on uh, 30 customer subcontract from another company for 
not even the whole year, it was two months. And took them on for two months, ended up not staying with them, and back down to just my customers by the end of the year through the fall cleanups. And then for winter that year, I had grown up to about 20, which gets me to this past spring. And each year I, throughout the, from the previous year, I didn't really keep many customers. The first year when I had the one customer on to the second year, she didn't end up staying with us. Uh, the second year's customers throughout to the uh, third year, they didn't stay with us except for maybe one of them. Uh, from the third year's customers up until this year, we kept about half of them. Prior to that, we weren't sending out uh, contract renewals to each customer. We were just pretty much starting all over with all fresh customers each year, which is not ideal to do, but it's how we started. And then into this year, we had started with five to 10 customers and built our way up to 50 by putting out quite a bit of marketing. Um, well, 2023, not this year. This year we plan to do quite a bit more. But into throughout 2023, I would guesstimate that we had ended up doing 70 to 80,000. But each year we seem to at least double in size. And this previous winter, we had gone through and not really gained too many snow customers. Pretty much stuck with about the same amount. And this is where we kind of currently are. And this upcoming spring, we plan to throw out a bunch of marketing through Google, through Facebook, through door hangers. Just uh, kind of plaster it out there that way we're well seen and we can get a lot of fresh customers coming in that way we can build up to 100 150 customers this year um if you are enjoying this content so far please like share and subscribe also please leave a comment with uh anything you have to say down below or uh Leave a comment with anything you'd like to see on future videos.